Welcome back to the channel everybody, something completely different today. We are trout fishing, but not on the traditional fly. We are trout fishing with lures. I'm at Hanningfield Reservoir today, it's a beautiful setting. We're going to be fishing with Charlie Capollo and we're going to see if we can catch some of these trout. Now he's done this far more than I have, so I'm going to be picking his brains and stealing his lures. Minimal gear today, which makes it even more perfect. Look at that, I've just got the two rods and my rucksack. So I don't need any kit, all I need is my ghillie and he is coming down the jetty now. I think he's about there somewhere. So where is he? He's there. So I'm being even driven around the reservoir which makes it even more of a beautiful day. Let's see if we can get into a couple without capsizing. So Charlie's recommended I use the lure that we've now renamed the monstrosity. So this looks huge, well, this little jig, but when in Rome and all that. So we're gonna put that out there and see what happens. We're out the wind, it's beautiful down here. First couple of casts and oh, I could, the visibility is ridiculous. I can see that a long way down. And I've just realised my bait was nowhere near the bottom, as I've been instructed to do. So, the technique is to chuck out the monstrosity, let it hit the bottom, but watch the line, because you might get a hit on the drop, and then tweak it back in, because these trout are still pretty slow because it's very early in the season the water temperature is still low so they're not really smashing things we might get them a bit more active in the shallower water throughout the day but we'll start off doing this and see what happens and then i'll blame charlie if i haven't caught anything That was a tap. Yeah? Yep. Just, well, just keep going, they'll, they'll keep chasing, chasing, chasing. And then, you, you don't really get a real sort of hit when it just goes heavy, just lift into it. Yeah. First tap. It's quite a hard thump. Is it? Mm. This is weird. This is so weird. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, that's, mate, this is tiddly. So here we go. First fish, and it is a monster. Not really. Don't know why I've got the clutch set for this, but there we go. Very gentle take. And now it's, as Trout do, decided to wake up at the boat. Great fun on light tackle. So there we go, about a pound and a half. You Thank you, my man. Perfect. Timing, Charlie's in now. Quite a 
So I shall play Gilly. Haven't had a chance to cast out. <laughs> That's okay. Well, at least I'll let you get your one first. Yes, you do. That was very kind of you. Allowed me to catch first. Great fun on the light gear. Just feels weird using lures for them. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Cheers, mate. Lovely. A two and two cuss. Three and three casts. This is why I found myself moving a lot the other day, just to keep it interesting. Yeah. So we've obviously stumbled across a pod of little stockies, which is okay, because it is what it is. But we might get this one in and then depart and find pastures new. Again, great fun on light gear. This is my perching rod for one of them. You could go a lot lighter than this though. Yeah, might get the BSF one out, that'd be mayhem. Well, now we're on them, you may as well, do you yeah. know what I mean? So BSF rod will be um, fun. And BFS. What do I say again? BSF. Yeah, I always call it the wrong way around. <laughs> it's called old age. These ones are a bit more spirited than the first, isn't it? That's a little bit bigger, not much. Might be two pounds. Oh no, probably the same size. Be great if a big old pike come up and nailed it. There we go, lovely. Thank you very much. Quick update, we've had, I think we've had three between us and we found a pod very quickly and it was carnage. So as you do, we moved off them because we wanted to try and catch some slightly bigger ones and since then we've not had a touch really. Probably about another hour since we've had those first three fish. So, new tactic. Going to use the wind now rather than anchoring different spots. We're going to drift over little areas of water. Wherever we get a bang, I'm going to drop the anchor and then we'll concentrate on that spot for about 10 minutes because what's probably happening is that the trout are bouncing around in small pods after they've been stocked and you just got to find them so this is kind of just move with the wind now if we'd been organized i would have brought a drogue with me i didn't i forgot but it doesn't matter because we're using lures we're just going to use spoons that we can fish a bit quicker so the movement of the boat isn't going to interfere with that so hopefully the theory works and if it does you'll see us catching some fish very soon It's lovely now, the sun's come out again. This is the bit where we start making excuses. But I haven't got any. <laughs> I have zero excuses. Apart from blaming my ghillie. Yeah. So we've probably been out for oh, four hours in the end. We made the cardinal sin of leaving fish we caught those three straight away and thought we'd be very clever and know-it-alls and leave and obviously didn't have a tap since so there we have it so next thing is to, you'll see me at home we'll turn these into breadcrumbs and they are beautiful <laughs> First thing you need to make sure you've got is a very nice filleted knife and you can see that's a that knife I've had for a long long time it, it's not sharp enough so I should have sharpened it before I filleted this trout anyway we use what we've got so I've run the knife along the backbone of the trout just to take the fillet off and it comes off really cleanly as you can see I then turn it over and take the fillet off the other side of the trout the next thing to do is actually take the flesh away from the skin. Skin? I'm not sure that's the right thing, that's what humans have. Anyway, just so I can clean the fillet away from its scaly part. So I just remove a part of the flesh to re reveal um, 
the scaly part so I can hold on to it and then I just wiggle it so as you'll see here I've not done the best example but if I just grab hold of the end and I wiggle it against the knife that's flat on the board and it produces a really clean fleshy fillet and then finally I take my fillet and I just literally cut off very carefully the um, little belly part that has all those nasty bones in so I just run my knife along that part and it leaves a lovely fresh fillet that I can put in salted water overnight. Disclaimer, I'm not a chef, so everything I'm about to show you is my way of doing it and probably technically completely the wrong way, but hey ho, it works for me and it tastes beautiful. What I remember, these are the breadcrumbs I'm using. Um, great name on them as well and I need to thank my mates from Minnesota in America for sending me these probably three years ago uh, I've just checked and they are ever so slightly out of date but hey -ho, what's a month or two with these so they'll probably be fine I've got my trout ready there's my second batch and my first batch is over by the hob so let's get over there and see how to cook them I'm covering my little fillets in some plain flour, then dipping them in the egg, and then once they're dipped in the egg, just giving them a nice coating of the breadcrumbs straight in the hot oil. Oh, that sounded good. Been looking forward to this all day. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's been too greedy, that's hot. <laughs> mm. That tastes beautiful. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video something completely different enjoy there's loads of trout fishing in the uk get out there give it a go and this is just one little idea of what you could do with your catch